I'm going to go. I'll go down hard though. I'll well, fight it right to the bitter end. Yeah, but I, I don't think it's going to go down at all at the end of the day. Well, we'll see. Three, we're three weeks from trial. Yeah. I mean, uh, I may have to appeal to the big man because I got it's the District of Columbia. We surveyed 120 jurors. 90 of them know who I am, and they hate my guts voluntarily. I don't think the big guy can let you go. What's up, everybody? Major Retired Richard Ojeda here, and the big guy. Wow. We've all seen the memes of Trump's cast of evil villains portrayed as comic book characters, particularly the crook Roger Stone. Matt Gates, of course, is a spitting image of Eddie Munster, which is fitting as well, because whether you look at him as the son of Frankenstein or the offspring of Dracula, he's definitely extended that parallel into real life with his sick, butt-kissing relationship to Donald Trump. Both of these guys built their careers off serving the big guy, meaning the bloated orange fascist, of course. For Stone, it was acting as a catalyst for getting Trump to run, then coattailing off of the crime and corruption that followed in his wake. For Gates, he was later onto the scene, sniffing an opportunity to fill a hole as a yes-man under Trump's fascist regime, and he's played that role to a T. Gates never speaks a word against the big guy or the big guy, being nothing but a parrot, mimicking the image of his boss to win the favor of his base and the orange overlord himself. And for these political favors, Gates is looking to cash in. Just look at how this clip ends, with Gates consoling Roger Stone that there's no way the guy, the big guy, can let him down, meaning pardoning his crimes, because he's been such an obedient little political poodle this whole time. This, folks, is the world of Republican politics. It's every bit the comic book cast of villains the memes make them out to be. And the astonishing part, the memes probably aren't going far enough. These guys are more evil than villains invented in Gotham City. These snakes merged organized crimes and politics into a sick circus act of corruption. And remember, it was Matt Gates banking on the idea that his years of humble obedience would earn him a magical, invincible pardon, an omniversal exemption of all Matt Gates' criminality from the dawn of time through the end of eternity. And these people are deadly serious about all this. They literally see politics as a playground for criminal-level corruption because when they're the ones making the laws, they never have to apply to them. And that's their mindset. It's the mindset of villains that the American Constitution was designed to defeat. People who intend to use government office to pollute corruption, extortion, and to manipulate their way to leverage their own personal agenda. And the reason the whole comic book imagery is so strong and applies so well to these creeps is how obvious their evil is. Some years back, a hot mic moment like this showing obvious abuse of office would mark the end of a political career. But in Magaland, a blatant example of corruption and hypocrisy seems to make no difference whatsoever. Just because Stone and Gates speak hollow words like they want to drain the swamp, they instantly went over the MAGA base, despite the very fact that they themselves are the worst swamp creatures of all time, the worst abusers of the public trust modern American government has ever seen, and the sad fact is it couldn't possibly be any more obvious. The big lie could more accurately be called the stupid lie, because Trump and his treason caucus led by Matt the pedophile Gates have gotten away with their blatant abuse of politics under the guise of the dumbest and most obvious lies ever perpetrated on the American public. It's a shame and an embarrassment how Roger Stone can be an architect of a political campaign and Matt Gates, a sitting member of Congress, is beyond an astonishment. And it is absolutely a black eye on American history and to every American citizen. Folks, we've got to do better, and that won't happen with idle wishes. It's a signal, a red alert for decent people to start stepping up and getting involved to make sure a horde of criminals never seizes any portion of American politics ever again. And that's a fact. Sappers clear the way, airborne all the way.